Well, hello. This is Jimberism, Total Notary Channel. You see my little reflection here, but in any case, um, a week ago I reinstalled Windows on this computer, and I set some password, and I don't remember it. So I thought I might as well show you how you can do to bypass the password in Windows uh, Seven, Windows Seven. So what we do is uh, just click uh, restart and we'll begin the restarting process there. We wait for it to shut down and then when it starts up again just hold in the off button until it dies again. Just like that. Ooh, wow. You see? Very reflection. Uh, yes. And then you start up the computer again, and you will get uh, initiated some uh, Windows uh, repair. Okay, just want to press again there, and just wait for it to come along. And then you see, you want to select Launch Startup Repair. Uh, now you also want to make sure you are disconnected from the internet and stuff and uh, You don't want to restore anything. I'll show you in a moment exactly uh, What you need to click so that's cool and all and Now we come to this screen Your computer was unable to start Let this re run and if it tells you there is a setup point or a restore point you should click that you don't want to restore it and proceed to the search. You basically want to do what you basically want to do is you want to come to the startup repair screen that tells you unable to fix the error. That's what we want to do. Yeah, so here we have the restore. And you just click cancel. And you will let it do the rest of the repairs which uh, yeah, usually takes a few minutes. Uh, for me it takes 10 minutes and that's pretty normal. Might go faster, might go slower. This is a freshly installed system, so um, it, would, it won't take more than 10 to 5 minutes, I believe. But if you have an old you know, system with many stuff installed, and yeah, a slower, non-fresh system, it probably takes a little bit longer. Alright, so it finally ran this check and uh, you need to make it run to its end and you get this screen, startup repair and well, that's a problem. And then we can click here, view problem details and in the bottom of this you find if the online privacy statement is not available, we don't have internet connected. Uh, please read our privacy statement offline and <laughs> we want to read the privacy statement so that's great and now that we have reading the privacy statement we should click file and open and then we get to the file browser which is very interesting then we need to find the system drive so we click on computer and uh, well usually it's your system reserved C drive no it's not uh, it's often C but if it isn't C you can find it in uh, your documents uh, it's a little bit different dependent on the computer but basically it's usually the big hard drive with a lot of space uh, left and you want to find a folder that has Windows installed on it, like this one, Windows. Uh, because then you can scroll down. Let's see here. To System32, which is where you want to go. Alright, so here we have uh, System32 and the file you want to find is not accessible. If you don't change this, text documents set it to all files and it will pop up a lot more stuff 
Uh, and we want to look for something that begins with S, so just click S to use the search function. Um, and it's going to be a set. So just browse down until you see this one. Set HC. Set HC. Alright, and what we want to do is click F2 to change the name, Ctrl C to copy the name, just click to the side on an arrow and insert a number or something, whatever. You want to change the name of this. Now we've done that, we want to look for command prompt. CMD. If you write CMD fast, you can find it. And after finding the CMD, you can just paste it here so you remember it's set HC, it's not very hard. But then you right click this, then you copy it, and then you just click Ctrl V or right click and paste it. Then you can change this, set HC, and then you click enter. Right. So now we have made setHC a command prompt uh, alternative way to reach the command prompt in system 32, which is the admin righted one. So then you can just click down this, click down this, don't send this, and finish. And that's all well and nice. Uh, so what you can do now it's uh, start up the computer again. What we basically have done is we have set sticky keys button to instead start up command prompt. You would imagine Windows uh, in the good old days would have removed this security hole but uh, Microsoft products is very famous for one thing and that my friends that is a lot of backdoors. <laughs> yeah um, so here we go, and then you see, you just click the shift key, like five times, and then we can see the command prompt. Uh, yeah, so now we have the command prompt here, isn't that fantastic? I can actually zoom in a little bit here so we can uh, see this better. Alright. If you write in net user you can find the administrator account, which is admit. It's the only account I created, by the way. Uh, and to reset the password for admit, you just do like this. Net user. And then you write in the username. Admit. And then you just, uh, oops, shift, like there. You want a star. Oh. Uh, sorry, you want a space, then a star. And now you can set a new password for the uh, user. And if you just click, instead of writing anything in, you uh, are asked to write the new password two times. I'm afraid of forgetting it again. So I'll just click enter and enter again. And now we have removed the password. Uh, so yeah, that's something you can do. And now, I can finally log into my account again. Horrible sound, but uh, we got in. And uh, now I'm going to proceed to install my drivers and stuff, because this uh, computer is uh, empty slate. In any case, I hope this tutorial has um, helped you <laughs> retrieving your lost uh, accounts, or being able to log into old computers, or you know, recover all files or whatever you need it for. Um, and remember, Windows is not a very secure system, so uh, be careful, because you can get into any computer like this. Yeah, but uh, now I'm going to proceed with installing some software. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like. If it really helped you retrieve your old files or something that really helped you out super much, you can also donate if you wish to. Uh, if not, that's completely fine, but stay tuned, because we are making more videos and more and more videos.
This is Jimadism Toad on Notary Channel, and I thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Jimadism, signing out.